How many of you know what a camel score is? I got 150 people in this ballroom and I got one person that says they know what a camel score is. If you're content driven, pay attention. I'm going to give you content this weekend other investors don't know. I will give you the insider trader information. Banks are regulated by the FDIC. They are given a CAMEL score. They're given a CAMEL score of a 1 through a 5. And let's get really clear. 1's really, really good. A 5 is really, really bad. Now, some of you are feverishly writing. You don't need to write this down right now. Just pay attention to me. Because tomorrow I'm going to teach. When I get done teaching you about your credit scores, I'm going to teach you about bank scores. I'm going to teach you bank, about Kink's CAMEL scores, what banks to build the relationships with. A lot of you in this room are trying to do this business and you're spinning your wheels because you're dealing with the wrong power team. Because I don't know how many times I teach this class and every weekend I get investors, I get in realtors, I get bankers, I get attorneys that come up to me and say, well, you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't do that. And I just look at them and I say, you can't, but I must. Just watch me. Because when dealing with the wrong power team, guys, this business is very difficult. When dealing with the proper power team, the business can become much more simple. How many of you want on my power team? Well, make no mistake, you want on my power team. There'll be an opportunity for that. I want you on my power team. Because the bigger my power team gets, guys, the more powerful we become. Now, let me tell you the relevance of this. So the relevance is, it's, it's, it's huge. Let me just give you a little taste of the content that's coming. If the FDIC assesses a CAMEL score to the bank of a four or a five, the FDIC is going to shut that bank down. Now, you don't even know your bank got shut down. The FDIC shows up on Friday. They shut the bank down. They have a new bank that comes in and acquires all the assets. And by Monday morning, it's business as usual. Now, here's why this is valid, Donald. The FDIC will make a pre-arrangement with, with the new bank that acquired the old bank that they want them to clean up all the bad assets, all the toxic paper, get rid of all the inventory of homes. And the FDIC will insure those bad assets, those bad loans, for 12 months, for 24 months, giving them an opportunity to clean up what? To clean up the mess. Now, if the new bank knows the FDIC is going to insure those bad assets, what do you think they're going to do with the inventory of homes? What do you think they're going to do with that bad paper? They're going to dump it on the market at 60, 50, 40 cents on the dollar. See, Jose, if you knew a bank in Huntsville, Alabama was going to get shut down on Friday, I'd be camping out on their doorstep Monday morning. Guys, there's 150 of you in this room, and only one of you knew what a bank's camel score was, and I don't know if you know at the level that I'm going to teach. And if you do, congratulations. How many of you recognize at this moment in time right now that I am going to teach you things that other investors do not know? I will teach you to be a part of the top 5% of master investors in this country, the elite investors in this country.